Well, hello, hello, hello. Um, this is Brother Wes coming back to you again. Um, I want to say this right here as a word um, that that I that God allowed me to to see where uh, many of His people at, many of you at. And uh, if you saw my title, it says to cut away, to cut back. And the example that, and, and well, I was a meditating example that God gave me was, um, you take like a uh, you bushes. You take those bushes. Now those bushes, when they get too, when they get too, um, when they grow too much, at a certain point, they won't grow no farther. So what you have to do, you have to cut off the dead branches or the dead leaves that it might grow. This is exactly what God is saying that what's happening is that he's cutting away many things in your life that it might grow, that you might grow. That's why there's so much pain. That's why there's so much hurt. And that's why you're going through so many changes. See, you, you, see when you're uncomfortable, that is how you grow. Also, in cutting back, if I could use another example, say for an example, you have a goal. You want to probably save up some money to buy a certain thing or go on a certain vacation. So what you have to do, you have to cut certain expenses back. You have to cut certain monies back and put it away over a period of time. And once you cut it back and allow, allow it to stash up and grow for a period of time, then at the point in time, whatever time that you're prepared it for, three months, six months, eight months, a year, then you're ready to go on that trip. And so what's happening is that um, in order to, in, see, in other words, you're cutting back that you might grow. You're cutting back that you might get certain things. Even the Bible says that uh, any man uh, who wants to save uh, save his life must be willing to lose it that he might save it. But him that try to save it will lose it. So cutting back is also, you can use decrease, humility, um, humbling yourself, submitting yourself unto God, fasting, praying, getting on your knees, uh, going to God, seeking his face, acknowledging that he's Lord, saying, God, forgive me. Cutting back also, also is also... Um, toward people forgiveness asking certain people for forgiveness or um, uh, talking to people that you didn't talk to before doing everything the total opposite to so to to show submit to show submittance but also you're planting seeds you're cutting back you're cutting back and see what's happening you're killing your flesh the bible says in order for anybody jesus anybody come 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 unto me he must first deny stuff denies flesh you must kill yourself all day long that the Christ might be reflected and the spirit man might arise even greater in your life. And so the more you cut back, even as um, uh, John the Baptist said, when Jesus finally came on the scene because he was the forerunner, the cousin of Jesus, he said that when Jesus came, he said, I must decrease. That's that cut back that he might increase. And so I hope this word really helps you. So there's a cutting away. And so in this cutting back, it's painful. See, sometimes even with cutting back, or when things are hurting, hurting, or you're going through certain things, you feel it humbles you. When you when you feel a certain way, you're in a situation where it's like getting a new job, and you hate being on a new job because you like the job, but you hate the fact that you don't know what everybody else knows. So it's gonna take a while for you to get become familiar with everything. And so this cutting back also is a new place. See, a new place because when you're cutting back, there's something new that's happening. See, because the, the Bible says that um, um, old things pass away. When you're in Christ Jesus, there's a, submer there's a submergence where you're baptized. You're baptized in his death that you might resurrect in his likeness. So the cutting back also, is you're, you're, you're being submerged. You're being cleansed. You're being washed with his word. You're being washed with his power. You're being washed with his, with, with his anointing. You're being washed with the word of God. And so what it's doing is cutting back. It's causing certain things to die. It's causing certain things to fall away. It's causing certain things to desire, to dissolve. Also, you can use a separation. The separation also is a cutting back because in, when you're cutting back, there's a separation. When, you, when you're denying your flesh, when you're sacrificing to, uh, unto God, when you're missing meals or whatever you're doing, what you're doing, you're cutting back wherein the spirit man might live, but also in your pain is the offering that you're giving, the sacrifice unto God. And in that offering, because you're doing that offering, you're giving it unto God from your heart, then God accepts it and he invites you in and you're blessed. So just remember that those are stages, but what's happening is that he's cutting back. He's causing things in your life to be cut back. Let him keep doing it. 
because it's for your own good, because he's cutting things away and cutting things back that you might grow, that also he might see his reflection in your life. Amen. God bless you.